All right, how you guys doing today? I hope everyone's doing well. I'm sure you were, you're aware of the revolution that's going on in Lebanon and the support that the Lebanese people need uh, at this time. Of course, some people need more support than others. Some people are more poor than others. Some people can't afford to buy their basic necessities day in, day out. And so seeing this and wanting to give our Lebanese people the hope that they need and the resources that they need to keep going during these tough times, these tough economic times, and this, this very harsh moment in all of Lebanon. We really, really need to come together and help everyone who's in need. And believe me, a lot of people in Lebanon are in need. A lot of people can't afford to get these things. And right now, prices have gone up with the value of the Lebanese lira going down and the supply going down as well. The, I mean, yeah, the supply is going down as well and the demand continues to go up. The prices are going to keep going up. So we came up with an idea to start a GoFundMe campaign, which I'm talking to you about right now. It is live. We're going to give you the link. And we ask that you guys share it with all of your friends because right now is the most important time in Lebanese history and our Lebanese brothers and sisters really need every little bit of help they can get. And the reason why I'm here in my fabric warehouse, my fabric facility in Los Angeles is to show you guys what we've been doing for over 30 years. This is our family business. And for the past 12 years, I've been involved and I've been handling logistics, importing and exporting these rolls of fabric, which we're making clothes out of, which we're selling to other manufacturers who are making them into clothes. And all this fabric came from overseas, majority of it. Of course, we do get some locally. We've been in the business for so long, we have all these connections. But not everything you can get locally, and some things you get locally, you're paying higher prices for. So that same thing, is relatable to Lebanon. Right now, we are planning on bringing in 50,000 kilograms of rice, 1,000 kilograms of powdered milk, and much more. We're gonna be listing that. Check out the link and please share it. But that alone is enough to feed about 25,000 families for a period of two weeks. Of course, some families eat more than others, different quantities, things like that so it's just an average it's an estimate but feeding these families is the most important thing to us and to feed them as long as possible is our goal so with the route that we're taking the route that we decided to take we are going to be able to bring in as much food as possible we're going to feed as many families as possible for as long as possible and if you help us succeed, we, were, we are planning on doing this for over uh, two, three months, for as long as possible, because this is not going to be a, a one to two month thing. We need to fight through this. We need to help our Lebanese brothers, our Lebanese sisters, our friends, our family stay together, stay united, and stay content, because... It's easy to give up when you're pushed against the wall, when you have nothing, when you have no power. It is easy to give up. And this is the last thing we want our Lebanese people to do. We are with you, and we're going to do whatever it takes to help you guys sur survive these rough times. And I really love what you guys are doing. I love how you guys come, came together. This is history in the making, so keep it up. God bless Lebanon. God bless you. God bless everyone. So thank you guys. I look forward to everyone spreading this message and everyone that's supporting right now. God bless you. Keep doing what you're doing. Thank you. And I mean that from the bottom of my heart. It really does mean a lot. Thank you.